good day again my wonderful and amiable listeners i bring to you the week in the news in the week in review firstly federal government to eradicate abakiyari secondly trouble in inamdekanu's camp and thirdly lawmakers review constitution the review in full the federal government had kickstarted the process to extra- eradicate embattled dcp abakiyari to the United States to answer fraud allegations leveled against him by the FBI. Crisis has hit the legal team of detained IPOB leader Mazi in Amdekano as his US lawyer has called on Ifan Ijofo to step aside. The National Assembly during this week reviewed the Nigerian constitution. Firstly, Federal Government of Nigeria has started the process to to extradite the former head of IGP intelligence response team, Abakiyari, to the U.S. The suspended deputy commissioner of police was accused of taking bribe from the confessed internet forester, Ramon Abbas, popularly known as Osh Poppy. A grand jury of 29th of April 2021 has filed an indictment against the embattled police, police officer with the approval of the U.S. District Court for the Central District of California. The Attorney General of Federation and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami, on Wednesday filed an application before the Chief Judge of the Federation in, the, in Abuja for Kiari's extradition. The application marked FHC ABJCS 249 2022 was found under the Extradition Act. According to Malami, the application was filed before the court followed a request by the diplomatic representative of the U.S. Embassy in Abuja. And the LEA also slammed its count charge on Abakiari and six others. The National Drug Law Enforcement Agency and the LEA has slammed an eight count criminal charge on the former commander of the IGP Intelligence Response Team, IRT, Abakiari, over his involvement in drug trafficking. The, this reports that the anti narrotic agency filed in the Criminal charge marked FAC ABG 57 2022 before the Federal High Court sitting in Abuja on Thursday. The NDLEA, through its lawyers led by the Director of Prosecution and Legal Services, Joseph Sunday, also filed the same amount of charge against six others suspects alleged involved in drug trafficking. The suspects are four IRT members, namely ACP Sunday J. Obia, ESP, Bawa James, Inspector Simon Agirigba, and Inspector John Uhu, as, as well as Chibuna Patrick Umwebe and Emeka Aluma Force, is in one name, two suspected drug traffickers that were arrested in Akanu Ibam International Airport in Enugu. Now we we'll go to the second review. Confusion as indigenous people of Biafra leaders, Mazi Namdekanu, US, leader, US lawyer, he find your job for fight dirty over 5.6 million era. The review in full. All is not well on the campaign of the embattled leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPO, in Amdekanu, as two of lawyers have, of his lawyers have dragged their disagreements to the public. It reports that Ameri- American lawyer and the spokesperson for the IPO leader, Bruce Finn, had it in a letter asked Ifan Yejo for one of Idam Dekano's lawyers to stop defending the poor Biafra activist. Bruce Payne cited a pending lawsuit instead by an unnamed businessman against Ejo for over the alleged fraud of 5.6 million era. The US-based lawyer asked Ejo for to immediately withdraw from the legal team of Idam Dekano, stressing that he is not fit to battle the federal government in court. Reacting to the allegation leveled against him, Ijofo accused Fain of being bitter because he failed to see Kano when he was in Nigeria. He said, Don't mind Fain, I will send you a letter which I used to appoint Fain as Kano's representative. I appointed Inamde Kano's spokesperson in the United States, and now because he's unable to see Inamde Kano here in Nigeria, he was allegedly that, saying that I was. The one who sub- stopped him from seeing in Amdekanu, he has, he has no locus to start writing anything, if I in had said and told the Sahara reporters. We go to the third review. List of issues NAS members voted upon during Tuesday plenary. Details of how members of the Niger- National Assembly voted on Tuesday 
during plenary on issues that came from the constitutional review as emerged. It will be recalled that the lawmakers voted on matters touching the review of the 1999 constitution and below are the items that got the approval of the federal lawmakers and those that failed as well. The ones under the approval are establishment of the Office of Accountant General of the Federation and the Office of the Accountant General of the Federal Government. Separation of the Office of the Attorney General of the Federation and of the state from the office of the Minister of Minister and Commissioner for Justice. Financial antonym for local government, local government administrative autonomy, financial autonomy of state legislation and state judiciary, enforcement of legisl legislative summons, inauguration of senators and members elect, institutionalization of legislative bureaucracy in the constitution. Uniform retirement age and pension rights for judicial judica officers. Hearing in the process of recommending the removal of judicial officers. Devolution of power, airports, railways, correction services. Fingerprints, identification, and criminal records. National grid system. Removal of transitional lawmaking powers of the executive. Time frame for the submission of ministerial or commissional nominees. Timeline for the presentation of appro appropriation bills, membership of the National Security Council to include presiding officers of the National Assembly, power to summon presidents and governors, establishment of state, state security council, time frame for the conduct of, pol of population census, state of nation and state of state addresses, composition of members of the Council of State Independence Candidacy. The ones who got disapproved are gender bills, diaspora voting, expansion of scope of executive immunity, affirmative action, procedures of overriding presidential, presidential votes in constitutional alteration, removal of presiding officers, presiding officers, inclusive of value added tax on the exclusive legislative list, divining acts that constitute torture, inhuman, or disgrading treatments. We have another review which says Showeri declares intention to succeed Buhari. The review in full. Nigerian human rights activist Omoyeri Showeri has declared his intention to succeed President Muhammadu Buhari in 2023. Showeri, who declared his presidential ambition on Facebook on Tuesday, is set to fly a flag of the African Action Congress AEC. Showeri for President, the online newspaper publisher wrote. The news report that Showeri was an AAC presidential candidate in 2019 election but lost to, the, to President Mamadou Buhari of the All Progressive Congress. Another review the, which includes the first batch of the evacuated Nigerians arrived from Ukraine. The first batch of Nigerians stranded in Ukraine following Russia invasion have arrived in Abuja. The development was confirmed on the official Twitter handle of Nigerians in the Diaspora Commission in NITCOM. We understand that the citizen numbering 406 from Romania landed at the private jet terminal of the Inam Jazikwe airport at 7.10 a.m. on Friday. Most of the returning citizens are students studying in the warring zone.